Wait, can I? Oh, I, I, I had a weird ass dream the other last night. Hell yeah. Um, hell yeah. Let's talk about. I it. actually <laughs> had, uh, I had, I had another dream when we were when we last recorded the podcast i had a nap that night uh, a, a nap, a nap. <laughs> and not another podcast <laughs> um but like i was sort of fighting sleep because oh, yeah, it was kind of yeah. late so i didn't want to actually mm-hmm. have a nap because i was like i'm gonna fuck up and like not be able to sleep mm-hmm. uh properly and so i'm like listening to some listening to a podcast and i'm kind of like on my phone i'm lying in bed and i'm, I'm, I'm dozing off and I don't remember what was happening, but I just remember hearing a baby cry. Ah. And like, in and, and the dream, I just started banging my head against the wall because I'm like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Was us in the bus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like, I just started hearing it in the dream and I'm like, nope, 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 don't know, don't like where this is going. <laughs> wake up, wake up now. Um, but then last night I had a dream where I was back in high school and the building was all, all, all kind of weird. Um, I have these dreams all the time. I was like, it was you. much bigger, and like the staircases were like you would go down, and to get to like the first floor, the banister would like go across just a gap, and you'd like oh. grab onto the banister and just kind of like slide Wee. down. <laughs> um, yeah, there was other weird things about the school that, but I don't remember what else about it. Um, but then, like, I started getting weird messages from friends. Um, and then Nick Fury showed up. As he does. <laughs> As he does. Um, and it turned out that someone was like swapping minds with people. That that's such a, that's such an anime plot. <laughs> um, and so like Nick Fury like runs off, and then like he gets switched as well the way you're saying this is like he came in and then ran off again <laughs> it was like, like he comes in i don't remember if he explained what he, was he going comes on in, says motherfucker and then runs away <laughs> yeah. and so like i think he switched with like a girl or something like that i don't remember but then he also had a twin because <laughs> i found another nick fury but canary <laughs> <laughs> um uh and he was like chasing down this like shadowy figure and uh, we were in like an Aztec ruin. And it was just on my school campus for some reason. Cool. <laughs> and then like he chases the 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 shadowy figure, and it gets into like a spaceship and flies off. And I'm like aliens. But in your dream, you're like, well, of course. <laughs> this is no. I was just as confused in the dream. As <laughs> this well, is to be the honest. secret invasion. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then we like go. So when the ship like takes off, like next clothes get like blown off. And he's like in like this purple satin, like <laughs> like pajamas or something. It's a very Samuel L. Jackson look. And then I'm just like, oh hey, it's your famous purple satin pajamas. And I'm like, <laughs> and then I, like when I woke up, I'm like, that's not like a joke they made in the MCU, is it? You There's no told joke. Yourself, it was. Yeah, in yeah. the dream, it was like it was just a joke from the MCU. Of course. And, and then when I woke up, I'm like, I don't think they ever made. A joke about Samuel L. Jackson's pajamas. <laughs> no, um, but we could maybe maybe maybe, maybe <laughs> predicted it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so then we we go back to the school. And we find like OG like Nick Fury mm-hmm. and like just a young girl's body for some reason. <laughs> and we're trying to tell him like it's aliens, it's aliens. And then I woke up when I smashed my head against Nick Fury. <laughs> To try and get his attention and tell him it's aliens. Oh, and it's not just the skill, it's like everywhere. <laughs> the last thing I remember from the dream is smashing my head. And in the next few it's been swapped into a young girl's body. Mm. Just oh. like smashing my head against their forehead, screaming, Nick! <laughs> and then waking up and being like, what the fuck what was that? Yeah. You know, it's strange that you've talked about having a weird dream recently that involved Marvel stuff. Because I too had a dream quite recently that had oh Marvel stuff. Oh in it. wow! This was so like a couple weeks now. ago. <laughs> this was like a couple weeks ago, though. Like, this is why we've started keeping dream logs. Mm, yeah, <laughs> this is like a month ago now. But mine was Spider-Man based. Oh wow! Or more specifically, Spider Verse based. Because, because I was jumping through different dimensions. Oh okay. I, I can't remember like the actual. Sorry, the actual story. <laughs> But I remember at one point I was in like a first person perspective. Oh. It was weird. It, I wasn't myself, but like I also was. Like I was myself with spider powers. Okay. Which sounds so much like me to dream about. <laughs> yeah. 
but I was sort of like climbing up this weirdly like design tower mm -hmm. from the inside. Okay. It was like a sort of shopping center esque sort right, of place, right. but the geography didn't really make sense mm -hmm. at all. Like, and it was really tall, so I was trying to climb that for whatever reason. I think it was another like portal in the sky sort of event. Mm -hmm. Because that's just a thing. That's just <laughs> Marvel, yeah. Of course. I've got notes here, but they're basically just rambling because I put up most of these notes right as I woke up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. There was a Venom fight, apparently. <laughs> okay. Versus the Raimi... The Raimi Venom. Oh. And Tom oh. Hardy, Hardy Venom. Oh, okay. Apparently it was a close fight. Were they fighting each other? According to my notes, Raimi Brock was, was had redeemed himself and was fighting <laughs> with Spider-Man. Like... Fighting oh. alongside Spider-Man. Okay. Against Venom. Okay, so Tom it was a Hardy. two two on one. Yeah, affair. with like Tom Hardy, Venom, and I think like the Insomniac version of Venom. <laughs> that we've seen like Yeah, a exactly. I filled of. in the details. <laughs> I just know it was that sort of PS5 model esque okay. sort of look. Sure. All I remember is the ending, like it's like it suddenly hard cuts to another universe. <laughs> okay. Where suddenly Loki shows up. Of course he does. That's what he does. Sure. Because he just does that along with Adam Driver. <laughs> what? As Spider Man. <laughs> As Spider Man? As Spider Man. Is he pretending to but, be like 16? No, the weird thing is, this was like a real life version of the Spider Verse Peter B. Parker. Oh, what? I can't describe to you where I got this idea because right after that happened, I woke up <laughs> and was like, what the You're fuck was no. that? No, Adam Driver, please. <laughs> what the fuck? It was like a sudden reveal. And then I, it's like the credits just rolled right there and I woke up. Crush me, you giant tree <laughs> of a man. I have no idea how the hell to describe that only. That's just what my dreams are like. Apart from Adam Driver, he was he was new. <laughs> <laughs> That's his first dream appearance. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Internet Passersby, and welcome back to Napcast. I am, as always, Rebel Notorious, and joining me today is Sean. Yo. And Lena. What up? Um, so, I think today... Oh shit, that girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm so, the female. This is a little pish. I'm a little pish. A little pish. <laughs> little pish. No one's no gonna content. guess. No. <laughs> You're also cheese. Jeez. Jeez. Um, I go by many names. <laughs> all inside jokes that all no one apart from jokes. us are going to get. Um, so today we're going to be talking about what we would do if we had 10 million pounds, which feels weird to say. I, I keep wanting to say dollars. Yeah. Uh, but if we had 10 million currency. <laughs> currency of your choice. Currency yeah. of your choice, um, which, you know, depending on where you are, may not be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Other currencies are available. <laughs> it's up for choice. 10 million Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> we, we debated on saying 1 million, but then we were like, 1 million, it's very concise. Like, yeah. I'd spend on this, 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 and that's it. Or like, a good trip. At 10 million, you can really make a oh, plan. Yeah. Like, they, they need to update who wants to be a millionaire, who wants to be a 10 millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> a decillionaire. Because a millionaire is like, I want to go on a trip with my house and do this. And that's my money gone. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're wanting more out of that, you have to be boring and, like, invest it. Yeah. And kind of know what you're doing. But that's the long Which we game. That's the long game. We yeah. won't know that. We're well, having uh, a scenario. Two out of three of us won't know that. Uh, You're saying that like I would. I mean, I feel like out of the three of us. <laughs> I don't know how to trade on the stock market, though. It's weird to say because Millie is the one that's actually like living, not by herself, obviously, but like the, in terms of more <laughs> independently. Independently, yeah. I didn't know how to word that. She has Same. struck off from yeah. the nest. So uh -huh. you should know more, like, logically. That doesn't mean Maybe. she knows how to trade on the <laughs> stock market. That's not an equivalence. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just equating adult things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an adult who does their groceries. Yeah, exactly. And has a fridge to put stuff in. <laughs> One of my first, on a big fridge. <laughs> we get back on track. Yeah. So we, we each have 10 million currency of... 10 million nondescript high value currency. <laughs> Can we just say pounds? Let's sure. Say pounds. 10 million pounds uh, since yeah. we're in, in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, and I, basically, we're just we're going to talk about what we would spend it on. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. How do we want to go about this? 
how do we want to start? Like, do we want to just go one at a time, or? I feel like one at a time is yeah. best. Sure, okay. I imagine we'll probably chime in with like, yeah. other ideas like, as we go on. Stupid. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm asking a stupid question. Who's starting? You. Yeah, yeah. I kind of thought that. <laughs> so, of course, being the weeb that I am, the designated weeb. No, okay. So the first thing I would do is I pay off the last of my pa my parents' mortgage. I mm -hmm. and uh, I'd I'd give them money to like do what they want with the house because my mum wants to like no, renovate nice. and do yeah. stuff up. Um, so I'd give her the money to do that. Um, I'd probably buy my own place here in Scotland, probably in Edinburgh. Uh, mm -hmm. hmm. So in Edinburgh, that's like what. You know, it depends what you want. Yeah. You can get a house for like two hundred. I mean, I'd, I'd probably want depends like where uh, in Edinburgh, obviously. Yeah. I this is the thing. Like, I don't know if I'd want a flat in Edinburgh or a house in Edinburgh. If you want to have a very nice and luxury thing, you're looking about four, five hundred. Mm, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Um, yeah, I think I'd want like a like a maybe a three bedroom flat. Yeah, you have a lot of space. Yeah, you I can have, have a studio. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah, I'd yeah. have uh, yeah. I'd have my own bedroom. I'd have like mm. a room where I can just store my collection of <laughs> stuff. Um, Blu-rays and stuff, because that sounds weird. It's I was gonna say yeah, like yeah. non-descriptive stuff with stuff. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sort of like you know my my physical media that sort mm -hmm. that sort of thing and then you know either like a somewhere for us to record or um or like maybe a streaming setup as well I think yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. As a sort of I'd maybe make the the master bedroom so to speak like the room that has yeah all our kit in it and and like a streaming room and stuff so getting the functional parts of it out of the way <laughs> and I'm down to like nine and a half million. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, no. I'm probably down in. If you're paying off like debts and stuff. Yeah, I'm probably down yeah. to let's say nine million. Yeah. Yeah. By the time I'm done, uh, because I'd also need to furnish the house. Of course. And of course, of course I'm going for top tier. Fuck yeah. Immediate like enter home entertainment stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Full seven point one <laughs> surround sound. <laughs> the top of the line, four K HDR TV. Get that Atmos. Another. PS5. Oh yeah, uh, a, a very good 4K Blu-ray player, mm -hmm. uh, and I'd probably go for like another, like some game, uh, other games consoles as well. Maybe like fill out my collection. My collection, yeah, because mm -hmm. um, obviously I have the the Nintendo SNES <laughs> minis, the Sega Mega Drive minis. I'd, I'd probably fill out my collection with like the N64, the GameCube. I'd I'd fill my nerd dream of getting. I'll, I'll talk about more on my one, but I'd like get myself like personally to follow that, but mm. I'd get like a dedicated NES, SNES, yeah. like not just the mini. See, mm. I, I'm content with the mini just because of how easy it is to load other keys on it. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, I like the authenticity. Yeah, though. like I'd, I'd probably have, I do actually have um, full versions of the SNES and S NES. I don't know if they're functional though, um, but I'd probably buy some, some physical games. Not many, because there's not many of those like that era that i'm yeah you know chomping at the bit to own exactly. a physical copy of i'd That's maybe fair. more go for some of the sega consoles because mm. uh some of uh hideo kojima's early games like snatcher and police knots i'd love to have oh, physical yeah. copies of those um mainly police knots for the soundtrack i've never played it but that soundtrack mm. is one of the best video game soundtracks i've ever heard um just while i'm remembering if we're going off the sega consoles i would personally like not out of like because they're good systems but just because i can say i own them i'd get like the sega like the mega cd mm. and the 32x and stuff. yeah i'd probably finally get those for the yeah. the mega drive because that's like gaming history oh yeah 100 percent. um so outside of that uh <clears throat> after that i would i'd holiday to to japan first you know of course you would. yeah um i was i was waiting until that yeah, yeah like that's 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 my first destination of choice can i come mm -hmm. to you guys would be coming <laughs> we're <laughs> making content for yeah us. yeah exactly so you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so we don't I'd, I'd take us all to japan hell yeah and and holiday there first maybe like 
I'm saying holiday, but like solid month to month oh, yeah. where like oh, yeah. we just it's comfortable. Yeah, yeah. really get to yeah. the day to day. We go to Tokyo, we start there, and then we just go and we Spread see out. the whole place. Yeah, yeah, we visit Hiroshima, Hokkaido, all of the, that sort of place. Kyoto, mm-hmm. Kyoto, yeah. Um, we try not to jump off the very tall part of Kyoto that apparently if you jump off there your wish gets fulfilled. <laughs> oh, that's tempting. <laughs> yeah, it's tempting. But... I mean, no one. You have ten like... million pounds. <laughs> I have one more wish. Yes. <laughs> um, Pay for the replacement leg that we <laughs> yeah. call me. Um, and then I'd probably maybe look at uh, getting an apartment in in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Like a holiday home. But yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. In Japan, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm planning to get like a holiday home in my like mm, choices. Yeah, mm. I think we all have somewhere that we'd like to have a holiday home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and for me, that's 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 Tokyo. I think Tokyo just because it's it's obviously the heart mm. of mm-hmm. of. Uh, well, it's the heart of where you know we. I'd be going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd go and visit other places while I was there, obviously, but Tokyo. Um, I want to go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I yes. definitely love to visit the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Um, I would be hitting up uh, Akihabara like for days on end looking for so many things. Just mm. rare mm-hmm. anime collectibles and stuff like that. Just looking around all the used stores to try and find all the second-hand items that are very hard <laughs> to come across now. Um, after that, I think... Now this has changed. This has to change now that um they're oh. no longer independent. Um, but Anime Limited here in the UK were an independent company. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if they and they've just recently been bought over by Playon or is it Embracer Group? I can't remember. Um, you'll they they've been buying over like gaming okay. companies. And I stuff know we like talked that. about it. I just can't remember. Yeah. Um, I think it's Playon, Plyon, something like that. If they had still been independent, I would have shot them some money invested in them yeah yeah uh they've been like what well, you want a license that you're needing the cash for <laughs> yeah yeah i can i can i can get you connected yeah or like pick something that i know hasn't been licensed and go how much would it be oh, how much cash you need yeah, in yeah, yeah. and i'd put away like a million for that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i'd probably maybe go for angel's egg for uh from mamoroshi but I'd, I'd i'd need to do some thinking like specifically course, on what yeah, yeah. you know i'd, I'd want them to license properly uh then i'd maybe go hunting and see if there's like any like older anime that haven't been restored to hd yet mm. and where it's like lost to time like the original films yeah, and yeah. sales yeah, and stuff yeah. and i'd go on a journey to oh, like yeah. find those um because that's something i've always been interested in is like the restoration process and stuff lost mm-hmm. media in general is, is very interesting yeah um i'd search for doctor who episodes i'd do mm-hmm. that if i didn't know how masochistic that would be i am a masochist yeah. when it comes to this <laughs> um i i don't know what else i would do from there though is the thing i'd probably buy guitars as well mm. um I mean, I'd visit America and I'd probably do an American road trip, I think. You know, mm-hmm. just every state. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's going to take a solid two, three months. Yeah, yeah get like a, a nice yeah, yeah, get like a full license. It's a journey. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is like six, eight months after we've been to Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've a short break. We've had a break, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we, I get my driving license, go to America rent a car and we just kind of drive from one end to the other and go around all the states mm-hmm. um i'd maybe spend some time in new york or LA, yeah like an extended yeah. stay new york is sort of the place i i know i'd want to go if yeah. i went to america i would i can't fund a movie because that's too expensive for new yeah. york you can help produce though. Yeah. yeah, but I'd want to do one of my own. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Um, do you have two ideas for movies that would take place in New York? I mean, you can, like, I hate to say, but you can fund them in LA mm. and then get the people to New York. This it's is more true. expensive, but I think yeah. it's cheaper to produce. Yeah. Uh, so I'd, I'd go, I'd look into that and see if I mm-hmm. could get. That's what I'd do. I'd need to license something to make mm. one of those movies, so I'd maybe see how much it would cost to license to buy the <laughs> rights to that. Yeah. To to make that movie. Um 
and then uh yeah we try and make that movie try and get some you know cash back from that <laughs> <laughs> uh release a successful movie that's very grand oh yeah Though we're mm-hmm. talking about what we would do yeah exactly we're, we're, we're supposed to be ambitious here how much is a is a private jet <laughs> The thing is, the upkeep costs of a jet. That's I think, my I concern. think we'll fuck you over. Yeah. Because it's not a one time payment. No, no. You can have a, take a few flights, though. I'd maybe just it. fly, like, business class. Oh, you should. Mm, yeah. Get, rack up some points. So yeah, you can I mean, fly I'm, cheaper. Yeah. My, my entire, like, aim of this is I'm going to be rich, but I'm not going to let anyone, like, generally know that I'm rich. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People, Only like, your close circle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I'm not looking to live in a mansion or, yeah, or anything. I don't want to advertise my wealth. No, 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 no. Because no. then uh, suddenly it's like, ah, uh, we went to high school together. I don't know if you remember me. I'm, I, I want to get. I can a assure you, I do not. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd obviously make sure my friends and family are comfortable as well. Mm-hmm. I would, uh, I'd buy out my mum, dad, and uncle from my grandparents' house. Because oh. uh, when they pass away, it's they'll be the owners of that house yeah. that's in the well that'll go to them mm-hmm. and uh they'll probably look to sell it or something mm-hmm. like that uh so i'd i'd probably buy it that's Give nice the money, the money for that it, it, it needs some work uh it yeah. needs you know done up and, and stuff like that but yeah I'd, I'd i'd happily buy that as somewhere like to come back and roost eventually yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um renovate it a bit yeah make it a place, yeah, yeah. And then when I'm ready to like sell down, that's like my house yeah. type thing, and I'll keep the Edinburgh apartment for you know professional work. Like you can always rent Let's it call it out. professional. Yeah. <laughs> this is very professional. I'm not renting out a house that has a lot of audio and video oh, equipment yeah, in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That room is locked, and you cannot go in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mystery door. Yeah, it's like you've got a whole other can of worms in your hands there. Um, uh, I'd go to Australia. I'd love to visit oh, Australia. Yeah. Australia's a great yeah. place. Would not do a road trip <laughs> in Australia. No, I, I would go to the cities and be like, that's been fun. Yeah. I Let's am- leave. <laughs> I can imagine I'd think about doing a road trip and then when I actually have to start, it would all... Uh, sorry. It would all hit me and I'd go, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I, I think Australia's like 90% uninhabited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, not enough to see. No. Um, I'd maybe just do Sydney. Mm. It's in the Perth, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I'm not very familiar with like Australia. Yeah. But, like, what's fun about the cities? Oh, New Zealand, though. Yeah, you know? I'd be. I'd be oh, New I'd Zealand. Take a look at yeah. 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 From mm. Australia, that's a good little layover. Is yeah. Because it, it Hobbit in. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, I'd pay Warner Brothers to like. Fix <laughs> some shit. <laughs> yeah. I. I would. Uh, I'd cover those tax write-offs. And then I'd also maybe slip them some cash to tax right off Zack Snyder's Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Just to fuck with the, <laughs> those pants. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it takes the rest of my money. I want that thing gone. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the orig- maybe the first Justice, like the, the Joss Whedon Justice League as well. Just, just while you're at it. Yeah, just please. Like, you just, just slide a 20 note more. Is it? And also the other one. <laughs> yeah, and and the one no one no one likes as well. Yeah. Um, maybe Batman versus Superman won't matter, but then we'd lose the best like Batfleck. I'd leave that one. I'd leave that. A small price to pay. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No offense to Batfleck, but come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> um. What else? What else? This is the thing: is it's like it's a lot of money. Yeah. And I think at some point you just gotta think. Do I want to work? If the answer is no, you have to keep a few billion. Yeah. Well, the to thing keep is, is like, that's my plan. I'd be yeah. doing like this, I'd, and yeah. I'd be doing Twitch streaming and stuff. So I'd be working. I, but yeah, they'd be not, more like yeah, they'd I feel more like mean. hobbies. But yeah, with, like my aim, like mm. make if I'm if I'm working, which I probably will. If I'm I'm still be doing this. Yeah, the plan, mm-hmm. and I might try streaming at, like at one point mm. if I get if I get the confidence enough yeah. in the right setup, I'd probably try <laughs> yeah, it. But yeah. past that. That's, I wouldn't really do much else. Mm, so. I'd maybe look to self-publish a book. Mm. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, I think mm. I'd maybe go down that avenue. Self-publish a book, try and get a movie made. Uh, these are all turned into real-life goals, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's good. You can really, you look into yourself like, actually, I could do this. Yeah, I like if I had the years. money, then, you know. 
it'd be um, easier. It'd make it comfortable. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have to worry about like, oh well, I only have so many days off work and I have this yeah. time in the evening and stuff like that. So that would be nice. Mm. Um, I'd I'd look to investing some money. Like I know that's a boring. Yeah, just get like an investment advisor. And help yeah, you out. yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd get a, a financial person and 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 like go over like oh so you know let, let's look at a diverse portfolio of investments <laughs> rather than like you know tesla or spacex yeah, yeah. or bitcoin or whatever like i'm not looking don't give at, any more money to elon musk no no <laughs> like uh yeah no don't want anything to do with him <laughs> <laughs> which uh yeah gonna be a sore day if he does buy twitter <laughs> we're not going Go into buy that. Twitter. buy twitter and i think twitter's quite a bit more than yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like he's exceeding your cost though. yeah it's it's several billion i think he's yeah. looking to pay for it God. um or I, he doesn't want to at this mm, point but mm-hmm. oh i'd come i'd uh i'd start a, like a proper campaign against the the microsoft activision thing oh yeah yeah um but then it's it also feels slightly hip- hypocritical in the sense that like sony also owns a lot of stuff mm. mm-hmm. so like would the industry be losing anything by having microsoft buy activision blizzard who knows at this that's point. the yeah. thing it's yeah it's so murky <laughs> and i mean really activision's philosophy is unless it's going to make us like a billion dollars that we can do every single year they're not making it no <laughs> like it's all call of duty it's world of warcraft overwatch that sort of thing mm. So, and they've said that'll still be, you know, all that'll still be multi-platform. Anyway, sorry, this is tur- this <laughs> turned into a whole other other conversation. I feel like if we continue yeah. down this path, we're going to end up going, what government officials could we bribe? <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. I'd also... Would you? Would you? No. <laughs> I was going to say I'd maybe put some money into the independence movement. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, like a, some is fine. a campaign yeah. of like... Yeah like funding sort of thing that's not i'm just wondering how much i'm wanting that to be on the podcast (laughs) yeah um it's not like you're bribing anyone no no but like the whole independence thing is just a bit of a you know divisive topic yeah exactly exactly um we said we weren't gonna do politics no no that's (laughs) here we are uh i wouldn't get into politics at all though no 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 um, like i said i don't have the mental health no yeah no, no, that's uh, no absolutely not um yeah i think other than you know personal buys like guitars and and just yeah. you know nice mm-hmm. things that i want a, a new pc <laughs> you know yeah. i don't have much that i yearn for it mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, that's good i want to live yeah. a simple like exactly yeah. i mean that's how i was gonna start maybe with a, a little bit of fame and fortune and <laughs> involved <Yeah. laughs> just, just, a little bit just a little bit as a treat yeah. you know just yeah. occasionally walking around edinburgh and someone's oh hey you're that guy you know that'd yeah be nice. that'd yeah. be nice yeah <laughs> that's how it starts <laughs> the green <laughs> and then it becomes do you know who I am? Yeah. I, I don't care about everyone knowing who I am. Like, no, if I get recognized yeah. just by a couple of people, that's nice. That's all yeah. I want. I, at, mm-hmm. at some point, I'd be like, how the fuck do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, I, I'd call it an intimate fame. Yeah. Where yeah. it's not... Not everyone knows you. Or, yeah. It's just a small group of people knows uh-huh. a bit about you. Yeah, and yeah. it feels like, you know, they recognize you in a bar and you have yeah, a drink yeah, with yeah. them and you have a conversation. Yeah. Whereas if you're johnny depp it's a picture and a, an autograph yeah you can't it, move because you, know. you are personal fame that's yeah. it yeah whereas you know i don't want to be worldwide famous yeah. where Absolutely everyone not, knows no. who i am my name's up in light somewhere you can't like really connect with anyone yeah mm-hmm. if i had <laughs> if i could refine my musical talent mm-hmm. uh i'd like to go on a world tour Mm. Uh, maybe do an album, but I can't write music for shit. Could always be an opening act for someone, you know. So you get Billie it's Eilish. Less <laughs> <laughs> totally I different feel like there musical are taste there. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's cheaper not to be the main. You yeah, know? yeah. 
I know I'd definitely be the guy that would join someone on a world tour, but mm. I wouldn't want to really participate. You were the guy backstage, I was like, great show, man, great show. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like a VIP to... friend that got there because he's friends with the guy. I'd, I'd like to be the one performing on stage. Maybe not as the main act. I think mm -hmm. that's a bit overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd, I wouldn't mind being like an opening act. Yeah, yeah. Headline somewhere, but yeah. not like a... Madison Square Garden. Uh, fuck, no. <laughs> no, not anywhere that is like... Oh my god, they sold it out. Yeah, if you're yeah. surprised they sold it out, like that's a worrying amount of seats. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's what I would do if I were if I had 10 million. I feel like I've not been very specific. No, I, I mean I'm not gonna I... be specific. No, mm. I wouldn't be very specific. Do you want me to go for I next? mean I, I don't mind going next. Feel free to go. <laughs> I think I'm sort of like similar to you, mm. but like obviously I have like interests that like differate from you that would just It'd be the same sort of like mindset, just yeah. in different like areas. Mm -hmm. Like, I obviously wouldn't be in like anime and like stuff, yeah. but I'd get like Doctor Who stuff. I'd finally mm. finish out just the full Doctor Who collection. <laughs> yeah. Step Ex one. <laughs> oh, there's so many like series on on. I'd Blu -ray. have to dedicate a full room to it. Yeah, <laughs> I I I finally get so many anime things that I yeah. want to buy. <laughs> I mean, like you, I'd probably get like a. Probably a flat, mm. like somewhere mm -hmm. just in Edinburgh, not like too big, but like yeah. big enough where I can put maybe a home theater or something. Yeah, like a gaming room maybe. Just I don't know if I'd do home theater. I'd, I'd, I'd. Hmm. Maybe not like, just not a like very a, good setup. For yeah, like that's TV, what I lean on. Yeah, when I'm saying home theater, I mean like a really good setup. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I was thinking the, the term home theater. Is, can, <laughs> the, t the term home theater can be sort of. Yeah, yeah right, whenever right. someone says home theater, I'm thinking you have a shitty projector mounted on your ceiling somewhere. Because yeah. You, yeah, you've got people like that, but you also got people that are like, hey, check out my home theater setup, and it's just like a big TV yeah. and a living room and stuff. Yeah. I'd do that. I'd get a good sound bar. Mm -hmm. I'd actually get a dedicated 4K Blu-ray player yeah. instead of just relying on my PS5. Because that's that's fairly limited in yeah. what it can achieve. It's nice, but it's got some like features it just doesn't have, like Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision, yeah. I, it, can can it do Atmos? I think it. I mean, yeah, it, it can. Like I know my TV can, and I'm pretty sure it can. But I think you have to like go into like the settings and like switch from linear. Oh, to bit stream. Yeah, because you can yeah. do that. Yeah. Mm. Oh well, I, I had to find on my own by the yeah. way. Yeah. Which by the way. Fun fact, this is just going on a tangent. <laughs> PS5 automatically like puts a noise reduction on. Yeah. Which I didn't know until like a couple months ago and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I've specifically been trying to get that shit off on every single setting. I don't know why it's pushed so much. See, I, I don't think I've turned it off because I don't use my PS5 as a... Yeah. So for gaming, I don't think it really does no, anything. No. I think it's more for mu movie yeah. watching and I don't use my PS5 for... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do. Yeah. <laughs> but if, with all this money, not for long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just get like a really good like home theater mm. and quotes like set up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot something I'd do. I'd uh, I'd get like a really good record player, mm. like oh, one of those like yeah, five hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. pound. Like that sounds cheap. That sounds cheap when we have ten mm. million. Yeah, but but like it's one of those ones I look at and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd fill out my record collection with all the stuff that's missing because I go on eBay and I'm like, oh, oh, that's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I probably wouldn't get a record player. I might just get like a jukebox or something. Mm. Oh, like one of those like yeah, 50 yeah. style jukeboxes yeah. though, just for yeah. the style. For the vibe. For yeah. The vibes. yeah. I'd, I'd add, I'd get like a full sound, like separate from like home theater. I'd get like a full sound setup where it's like a uh, record player, CD player, uh, a digital uh, to analog converter and all yeah, this yeah. sort of stuff with like proper speakers and, and cabling and everything like that because I am a, a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Uh, obviously like you, I'd help out with like parents debts and stuff. Mm. Just yeah. maybe this is a very personal thing. <laughs> I'd, I don't know how, if, if it's viable, but like I try and maybe possibly buy back my grandparents' house mm. because mm -hmm. like yeah, okay. all my grandparents are like past and mm -hmm. like the house that specifically my on my mum's side is like a, a sort of not a family house, but like yeah. I went there a lot. My yeah. cousins used to live like across the street mm -hmm. from there. It was sort of a central family hub. So yeah. I'd maybe like try and like hey, if you want all this money, can I have this house? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. that's why I want to buy my grandparents' house because yeah. it's 
it's the center of our yeah. family the, type the difference thing. is there's already a different family living in that uh, yeah, so well if you have 10 million yeah exactly <laughs> i was like can i bribe you to fuck off how <laughs> much would you take to move the fuck out yeah <laughs> i can <laughs> set you with another house i'm willing to do that yeah. just give me this one <laughs> You just set off a chain reaction, like, okay, I'll buy the neighbor's house and you move into the neighbor's house and I'll buy the neighbor's neighbor's <laughs> house and you move in. I'm not going that far. There's a house across the street from, for sale if you want that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it for free, please. Leave yeah. <laughs> so I'd maybe do that as just a personal thing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I, if you've got 10 million, I think that's viable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I, don't, I don't. So. I don't know how nice it is. I'm basically kicking a family out for. It. I mean, if you, if you, if you compensate them, them fairly yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. willing, mm -hmm. like yeah. you can, if if you know they're in yeah, a situation yeah. where they're like, we'd like to live bigger, have a nicer yeah, garden, yeah, you can yeah, help yeah. them with that. I, I, I would. I would do that. Yeah. Mm. yeah just approach them. With it. Exactly. Don't force them. <laughs> yeah. Get out. <laughs> just, just throw some money at them. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I would also get a holiday home. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not. Um, if we're assuming this is a time limit where we've all somehow gotten the money, yeah. Tokyo's already set. <laughs> yeah. But we can share, you... like, okay, hey, I want to go to Tokyo for a few months. Oh, I have an apartment there. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if not, I probably wouldn't get a Tokyo one. So nah. No. My, if I'm thinking holiday home, I'm thinking somewhere, like, hot and sunny. Like, I'm thinking mm. Caribbean. See, oh, I don't oh, like oh. hot and sunny. <laughs> uh, I mean, in summer. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That it's just puts, a good getaway. Yeah. That puts my mind at ease in mm. summer, like being mm -hmm. in a nice, like, sort of hot place. I can just finally sit Does back and relax. Does not put me at ease at all. I cannot get comfortable. <laughs> the only thing that makes it uncomfortable is, like, because uh, this usually we're in a hotel, if, like, mm. we're in a holiday mm -hmm. place, it's just everyone can see me. Yeah. yeah. You have your own little private bungalow. Yeah. Just sort of like a villa or something. Yeah. Mm. Just sort of chill, do that, go there for like a few months in the summer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just vibe. Just vibe. Yeah. Just vibe. Just vibe. Just vibes, yeah. That's heaven for me right <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, if I, if I was getting another house like here, I'd, I'd probably get like a sort of weekend home in like the mm. countryside or something. Mm -hmm. Because there are some times where like I think about, if I was rich, I'd just get like a nice, not like a cottage, but like a, yeah. a big-ish sort of house in the yeah. countryside to just relax. And if it, if city life ever gets too much, <laughs> <laughs> to put it in a term. Yeah, yeah. I live out in the middle of not nowhere, but it's disconnected enough for me to not want yeah. that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As someone who's based, grown up in Edinburgh his entire life, being able to like escape to like a rural sort of place. We want the opposite thing. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. In this situation, I want the city life, and you want the exactly. Want to want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still get like an apartment in the mm. city because yeah. I'm. The thing with me is, if I stay in one like place for too long, I'll get bored. Yeah, I feel, uh, I feel that in my fucking bones. So like, <laughs> someone who has never moved house in their life, you see, I don't get it. Because <laughs> I, I like to be relaxed and I like not being stressful, but after a while it's like, I want to do something else for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably be switching back mm. and forth whenever I feel like it. Probably just get like a, a driver's license or mm -hmm. something and just drive. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a really nice car. I totally forgot oh. to mention that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm imagining we're all getting nice cars. Yeah. Oh. Not what, you. Can, what kind of I'm car? Not getting a car? Are you not getting? No. You wouldn't drive. No. Fucking I, I buy the trams. The, dry, no, I <laughs> legit. I, I'm thinking like I have to buy something close to the tram. Fuck. Because like driving to me makes me so anxious that like even if I had all the money and could buy a nice uh -huh. car, I wouldn't want to. This is the timeline where all three of us. So you wouldn't be getting a tram you would be calling one of us yeah i mean no i still get the tram <laughs> fuck that i mean if you really want to you can get a personal driver you can get a driver yeah you can yeah, uber everywhere if you wanted to yeah. yeah exactly but i'd still like to be connected in public transport because stay humble <laughs> <laughs> this is why i want a car because i don't want or need to rely on public transport i don't mind it i don't mind public transport but if i have enough money where i don't have to i'm probably gonna choose not yeah to i don't it. mind it but like if i can get the ability to not rely on it that's mm. that's good i'd like to get like a driver's license just as a like okay i can do mm -hmm. that but mm -hmm. i mean the choice of like a, having like a personal driver is tempting mm -hmm. yeah what car would you get oh, i don't you see i don't know enough about cars i just mm. know i want a good one <laughs> i'd i'd get two i'd get uh i'd get an electric car actually you know what i'd get this is <laughs> this is gonna be so nerdy but i'd get like a james bond rec car like a replica nice. that would cost most of your money i don't care <laughs> i don't even know if you've got enough money for that at this point i mean it doesn't have to be completely accurate 
<laughs> just the, the vibe's got to be there. It's yeah. a Baston yeah, yeah. Morton. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what? No, not like the classic one. Maybe like the modernized one from Casino Royale. That still costs Damn most it. of your budget. <laughs> Why are cars so expensive? I mean, it's not cars, it's Aston Martins it's are expensive. specific cars. Can yeah. I just remove like the logo and put like a Toyota logo on it? <laughs> no! <laughs> I Can I steal one and just cheap. pay off the cops? I mean, yeah, you could. could <laughs> That's going back into bribery. <laughs> I'd, I'd, get a, I'd get an electric car. Um, mm. I don't know about a Tesla, but then I also don't know think, what other good brands there are. Currently, for. the most reliable one, yeah, I think, is Tesla. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. A necessary yeah. evil. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I'd get a Ford Mustang, I think. Mm. Like, not the old ones, or maybe not a Mustang, maybe a Dodge Challenger. Mm. Charger? Charger. I'm going to um, be honest, I don't know enough about cars. Have, 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 have you got the Cthulhu and Cyberpunk? Yes. That is based on the, oh, the Charger. Wait, the Cthulhu. That's the, the Type 66 Cthulhu. Like the black car? The black one with the big spoiler. That's, that's called Caliber. Nope. No, no, it's no. It's not no. Cthulhu. No. Different cars. Oh, okay. You're thinking of the one based on the Bugatti. Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. The, the, the well, Cthulhu is the black muscle car. car. Oh. The muscle car, black, big spoiler. Oh, okay, yeah. That's based on the Charger. Just doesn't have nice. the massive ass spoiler. That's more from the, uh, is it the Pontian or is it the Plymouth? The Firebird, I think, maybe. Mm. Um, Good choice, anyway. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd get a, I'd get a Challenger I'd, or a Charger. I'd, I'd probably do it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Paint it black. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do I want a purple car? No. <laughs> um, I'd yeah. get a blue car. Of course. of course she would. <laughs> See, the thing is, blue you can pull off for a car. Yeah. Purple, not mm, so much. Yeah. It like people notice if you have yeah. a purple car. Blue people. I think people are like gonna be gonna be noticing them either yeah. way. If I'm pulling ass down the street and yeah. a Dodge Charger, <laughs> yeah. there's not many of them in Britain. Yeah. <laughs> uh Past that, I'm not really sure at that point. Like I said, I'm very, I'm very simple in what I want, and yeah. like just sort of, I want to be comfy. That's yeah, my main that, goal. I think yeah. that's all of our kind of I think goals we're here. All just like want to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just sort of being having the freedom to live life without having to grind. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and it's not necessarily like we don't want to work. Like I'm factoring this in that I'd still be doing. Yeah, I do stuff for I work. do stuff that I like. like yeah, this could count as work. I mean, yeah, could. you want to be a professional could. at it. Yes, it is work. <laughs> the key word is could. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I'm not looking at this as a hobby that we're doing. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm taking this seriously, so I'd, yeah. I'd continue to take it seriously. I like, I like mm -hmm. to think of it as a hobby, but like it is very... A hobby you take seriously. Yeah, not exactly. a hobby like, oh, I'm bored. Let me just do this. Like it's not yeah. something I can just drop. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I don't want to just drop. Mm. It's the same. That's basically all the main points I've mm, had right yeah. there. Like, like I said, very simple. Uh, other stuff you probably you've kind of already mentioned, like tours on like America mm -hmm. and stuff. Seeing Flying like, business class. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Maybe go to Disney World. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't really like theme parks that much. So I, don't I mean, think I'd hit them up. The thing is, I I wouldn't. I mean, I go on some rides, but I wouldn't go on like all the rides or anything. I just want to mm, have feel been the... there instead yeah. of visiting a theme park. <laughs> I'd go to Chernobyl. Hey, look! Oh that's cool. no, that's an experience. <laughs> yeah. so I'm up for that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, but like, I just like wouldn't go to the theme park. Like, you guys could go. I wouldn't be there. I don't care for them. Uh, so this is uh, where we split up. So I'll be in Chernobyl for two days. Have fun in Disney World. Uh, yeah, like, you guys are <laughs> off to Land. Disney World. I'm just in Chernobyl. Like, ah, oh, fascinating. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, there's a little Ferris wheel, huh? Don't touch it. Okay, okay. Don't touch it. I don't think you. I don't know if you can get close to the that part of it. Actually, I don't, I don't know exactly where the bounds lie, but mm. I've heard you can get pretty, pretty close. Yeah, nowadays I think it's stuff. like there's just like pockets here yeah. and there. Going off of that, actually, I what I would do, I would go on to a lot of historical like mm. landmarks and mm -hmm. like places and stuff because yeah. I can be a bit of a history nerd sometimes. Yeah. So just going to all these famous places, mm -hmm. taking pictures. I'd spend like maybe like a year just doing just that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I'd, I'd maybe do like a... Maybe I'd fit Tokyo in that time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'd do like a documentary type thing for a YouTube chat for like YouTube where it's like uh, visiting the different places that nuclear incidents have occurred. Mm. Mm. So starting from obviously like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. And a like, you know, Ru- the the parts of Russia that have had nuclear accidents that they don't really talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that would be interesting to me because mm-hmm. uh, I have a fascination with with that. It, it's I think because it's so devastatingly harmful. Yeah. Yet there is no visible. It's yeah the invisible danger. Yeah. There's something about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's basically all my points mm-hmm. right there. I'm a simple guy. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it start like the same. Like I think I would buy a house mm-hmm. here, and then mm-hmm. probably apartment somewhere. Pay off like, the debts. <laughs> pay off the debts. I you'd mean, settle down here. <laughs> you'd finally go. Eh, eh. Kind of want to live in Scotland. Yeah. No, I think it's a good hub to have because it's mm. as far as city life goes, Edinburgh's quite quiet. Yeah. You know, it's not know. overwhelming. <laughs> I find it very quiet. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Um, I'd say out of like. Cities of the world, Edinburgh is definitely not. I feel like it's not the loudest one. Yeah, Yeah. like it's it's... even compared to Glasgow, I'd say. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So buy a nice apartment here. Edinburgh's a very curated city. Mm. And he wants to own a studio one day. I'll finance that. Like, give him a nice studio with equipment and everything. Be like, if I can just reserve one room for this podcast. (laughs) (laughs) We suddenly have like two places to record this. Yeah, you know, it's it's. If hey, we if we ever want to change yeah. place. Yeah. It's, it's just a place to have. I'd, I'd maybe, like, build, like, our own, like, studio somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Like, either, mm-hmm. like, buy over a, a building that's, like, was, a, like, a shop or something that's no mm-hmm. longer there. Mm-hmm. And, like, turn it into, like, a production facility type like thing. A production think, company. Yeah, Edinburgh yeah, yeah. sorely lacks oh, that yeah. sort oh, yeah. of thing. Absolutely. I think we would all collaboratively mm-hmm. pay Absolutely. for this. Yeah. yeah. Um... I would probably, as like a deal, once my siblings and cousins finish studying, I pay off their debts. Ah. I wouldn't tell them before, because yeah. then they're gonna just rack up debt. Yeah, exactly. But as as like a graduation gift, mm-hmm. if they decide to study, I would just be. Like, Do they listen to this podcast? I don't think so. But well, there you go. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they don't. They know I have ten million, but <laughs> yeah. But like, if you ever have a windfall. No, I, I wouldn't fucking tell them. <laughs> Who says it's worth it? Yeah. No, um, I, again, if, if you're paying for Tokyo, fine. <laughs> I mean, <we're> collaboratively. <laughs> we're relying on you for Tokyo. I, I would take my siblings with me because mm-hmm. my brother really wants to go. And How I, big do you think this apartment is? No, I'm, I'm putting them up in a hotel. Okay. I'll pay for their hotel, of course. You're that, just I'm you're not, saying I'm in the lavish apartment. There. <laughs> I even assumed I wouldn't be in the apartment. Be like, I'll find a hotel. Don't worry. No, <laughs> you bring them along, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna be here. You're gonna be all the way over fucking. Yeah, there, like so if, yeah. If, if the apartment is empty, like you guys could use it. Like I'm not oh, gonna yeah, say. Yeah, but I yeah, assume yeah. at some point we would go as a group. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. go a second time then. My siblings, probably my boyfriend's sister as well. Yeah, mm. she loves. You Japan can still and stay in culture. that apartment though. I have, I'm, I remain undecided. <laughs> If she's not taking it, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if, if, if I am not present in Tokyo, staying in the apartment, you could stay in the apartment. Yeah. Like, that's... I'll pay rent for you, but... Yeah. No, you don't need to! <laughs> We're rich, we don't need to. <laughs> I have paid for this apartment outright. I don't have anything to she can, cover. She can be as nice as she wants. I ain't paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slide you, like, a hundred bill. There you go. <laughs> And I just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure this gets to Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I think I would buy more property in Edinburgh mm-hmm. to then rent it out cheap to students. Oh, I think, oh, no, that's nice. Like, I, I make a small amount of profit. Maybe I don't. Yeah. I'm not looking for a lot. It's just like the rent market right now is crazy. Yeah. I'd like to just you know talk to universities, be like, mm-hmm. look, if you have students that are in trouble, I offer places for cheap. Yeah. So go through mm-hmm. university, so you know they can vouch for them possibly. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So just buy like maybe five or six properties just to rent them mm-hmm. out for very cheap. That's a good idea. I might actually. I would maybe do the same. Actually, now that I think about it, I'd, like, I'd also like. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to also get in the scheme. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 
because I think it's it's something that's happening a lot right now. Yeah. A lot of investors are buying to like because it's cheap right now. We form our own real estate agent to do this. <laughs> yeah, and like, we ha- we're we're getting a diverse portfolio. Of exactly. Yeah. We'll use our your financial company person. Is so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll use your financial person that you got. <laughs> yeah. Can we claim your financial guy? <laughs> like, yeah. And this is just gonna be a whole like company at like. With so many different things going yeah, on, yeah, we in specialize it. in this, this, this. Also, this. <laughs> I mean, you would you would hire like a uh, like someone to run the real estate oh, side yeah, of it, yeah, you know, of course. Uh, and then mm-hmm. we'd be focusing on obviously like the the production mm-hmm. company yeah, yeah. part of it. Yeah, but that that's something I've always thought because I renting is expensive and not everyone wants to live in like university halls. Which yeah, I understand it's yeah it's an atmosphere that's not for mm-hmm. everyone. So just to have an option for students, even though like everyone will want to have, you know, cheap rent and everything. Yeah. So go through you only for those that really need it. It's like an like a sort of income assessed yeah. thing. Yeah. Kind of like, oh, you can't afford this. Well, mm-hmm. we can help you out, yeah. you know, and all that. Eligible, yeah. 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 I, it would only, unfortunately, last for your career of study. Yeah, yeah. that's that's fair. That's, I think that I feel like that's the contract. Yeah. Yeah, as, as soon as you finish unfortunately. Maybe <laughs> like a, a year grace. Yeah, maybe period. a year yeah, exactly. grace that's, feels that's, fair. Yeah. That's sensible. Yeah. Time to, to find something and, and move on type thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That that's the only thing I've been like I, I would really do that. If I had a lot mm-hmm. of money I'd be like, I want to help people out. Yeah. You know, especially right now, cost of living crisis. Yeah. Like having that one worry of a roof over your head mm-hmm. just be yeah. minimized. That that's good. That's, yeah. That's a human good. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a human good. I think I travel a lot as well. Because of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean you were doing that already. Yeah, you, just, you're the most experienced in that here. <laughs> I just keep moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. this time by Which choice. is currently a concern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I um You don't have to air out here. No. Uh, I'm thinking, I, part of me is like, I'd want to buy an apartment in New York, but Jesus Christ, I don't think I could, even with 10 I, million. Yeah, my my concern there is that it's just not like a, a nice place to live. I, oh, again, I'd Airbnb it out while I'm not there. Cause even then, like money. not like going for an extended period of, amount of time, I don't think I could hack that in New York. I will say when I was talking about like quality homes and stuff, I was tempted to say like try and get a flat <laughs> yeah. in New York, but the two concerns were I'm not sure if I really would want to live there yeah. for an extended period of time. Like New York just seems mm-hmm. more like a place I'd visit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And two, that's ignoring the car stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's all my money just gone right yeah. there. Yeah. My my concern with New York is that it is it's kinda like if I went to like Beijing or something. We, we live in Scotland, mm-hmm. which yeah. has very little air pollution. Mm-hmm. New York Oh my god. It is yeah. Beijing? Holy motherfucker. I mean, Beijing and, like, to be fair, all of China's off the table yeah. for me. Because, yeah. like, I'm not stepping. I'd in visit. It's, it's something oh, yeah, you definitely, like, having lived not in New York City, but I mm-hmm. went there pretty yeah. often. And I'd come home and wash my face, and you could just take the gunk oh. off, and you'd look at, like, the car around and be like, that is gray. Oof. It's not great for your skin. Also, the water quality in New York is. I'd, I'd be worried horrible. more about breathing oh, yeah. it than yeah. anything else. It's yeah. just you know, it's a place I'd like to go and not having to think about hotels mm. and having a place again. It, you have a lot of money. You yeah, could get but, a really nice hotel. Yeah, but that's only a one-time thing to have. True. Like, if oh oh, I have a friend that wants to go to New York. Oh, just pay me like fifty bucks to stay in my flat. <laughs> pay me fifty bucks to to stay in this apartment that cost me a hell of a lot of money. But you don't, I just charge very low prices. Like, look, I just want to charge you because I want to make sure you'll take care of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because if, if you let someone stay for free, they got to fuck it up. Yeah, this is exactly. true. Of, of, not for family. A family wouldn't ask a thing, but, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just it's different, they're family. Yeah. I, and your family would clean it to be cleaner than it was when yeah. they got there, and you'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> How, where the fuck are my, my shit? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just because I think people like traveling to New York and I'd like to be just a person like, hey, oh, you want to go? Oh, mm. let me know the dates. I'll see if it's empty for you. Yeah, yeah I, like, like if it. I were making a movie new, I'd be staying there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place I'm visiting. This is the place I'm going while I'm visiting New York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I'll, I'll take care of the New York. You take care of the Tokyo. Yeah. Sean, what the fuck? <laughs> Look, I haven't got anywhere. Yeah, you've Get taken something the good interesting. stuff. L- London. London. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, actually... None of us have factored in anything south of the Scottish border in this no, conversation. No. <laughs> I could do London. Okay, great. Sean's got London. London, sorry. 
We've got the three big international cities right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> nah, we're good. Nah. <laughs> We'd visit Australia. We would. Yeah. No, nah, I would set up shop. A, yeah. Maybe New Zealand. That's just the nerd. In I don't think there's much in New Zealand though. That's just no. the Lord of the Rings nerd in me. Yeah. Exactly. I I do the travel stuff, see all the stuff. Yeah. You know, that. Like, there are some places I'm just not interested in traveling to. Mm. It's like mm. South America, not particularly. Yeah, I don't really like, have much. Seeing a few in there sites either. there, yeah. but I'm like, I don't know if it's a place for me. Yeah. Africa's too warm for me, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And same thing. South Africa is just a whole kind of worms. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I visit Egypt. Oh, Egypt, oh, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. Egypt but. has so much, like, you have to be worried about in terms of just, like, the weather. Yeah. Um, like, Egypt is included on that historical yeah. places yeah. trip. I'd, I'd, I'd love plan. to go visit the, the pyramids and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, See how close I can get to the pyramids. <laughs> you can get pretty fucking close. Can you like, climb them? I don't think you can climb them. On them. Oh, I can't do an Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I really want to. I'm going to to Italy and I'm seeing all these. <laughs> yeah, stuff. we'd yeah. we'd go to Italy and we'd all, we'd visit Florence <laughs> and uh, Rome. You'd say hi to your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't live there, but okay. He has his family. Like working yeah. for your your boyfriend's dad for a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you're here. You can work. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Speak Italian? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just stand up front and hand menus to people. <laughs> uh, yeah, part of, part of me is like, oh, I should get something. Like, oh, I'll get a, a flat in Florence. But I'm like, I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. I think it's maybe more for like your boyfriend's sake, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Just so. But, you know, his family has a place we mm -hmm. can go now. But is there anything else? Or, you know, I help my siblings out if they need mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, things yeah. like that. My parents don't generally need help with renovating. They're yeah. pretty fine. Mm -hmm. Same with most of my family, so it's. <laughs> I'd I'd, I'd okay. help out like some of my other family and stuff as well, like my yeah. aunt and uncle, my cousin. Yeah, and stuff yeah. Like I'd that. definitely help like my sisters and stuff. Mm. Yeah, if like someone needed, like let's say twenty k for to add on to like buying a house, yeah. so they can lower their mortgage. I'm like, I'll help you out there. That's yeah. trouble. I'd, I'd maybe like uh, I'd end up spoiling my niece rotten. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a goal for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd, I'd either fully pay off my aunt and uncle's mortgage or, or like half of it, maybe mm. depending uh, how much it is. I don't know how much. I don't <laughs> no, know how much no, a house costs, fine. but yeah. I think it, it's probably so insignificant. I could, if I had ten million, point, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I could, I could pay it off. I'd absolutely help my cousins as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like all, my, like, I have a lot of cousins. Yeah, yeah, just help your family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I. Like, if we're still in the cost of living crisis, I'd probably help out some small businesses in Edinburgh, mm, like, to yeah, help pay yeah. for, especially, like, bills. Yeah. yeah. I just, I would buy <laughs> Edinburgh Castle. <laughs> like, that's a lot oh, of it's, it's a bit no. Don't even think yeah. it's for sale. <laughs> I want to live there. It's, like, it's not for sale. <laughs> Money. <laughs> and what you got? Oh. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all. We sort of just trying to help students, mm. helping out my family. You've been way more generous than us. <laughs> mm. uh, it's just, you know, again, I don't need a lot. Mm. I just want to have a home that I like, be comfortable, yeah. be able to support the people around me. Mm -hmm, and yeah. apart from that, I'm like, I'll help others out. Yeah, yeah. So kind. And then the rest, I'll probably get the, fin the financial investor to help me invest. <laughs> we, yeah. we now have, like, a singular financial investor amongst the <laughs> yeah, three of exactly. us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's no point in having one each. No, that's it. Uh, yeah, if we know a person, <laughs> we and... can also handle the business side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's easier um, to deal with all the responsibilities. Yeah, like they to... they can they can run the 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 financial side of the production company yeah. and yeah. The, the real estate business. God knows I'd need one because I'm just too stupid <laughs> to do that on and my own. Maybe this podcast would even become a video podcast at that point if we had a production team. Yes, it would. Yeah, yeah probably. Actually, yeah. Just because, like, uh, as much as an odd as podcasts work audio, obviously we've been doing them for a while and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Adding a video can just add a little bit of extra. I, I, add, like, prefer graphics. I always prefer watching. Really? It. Yeah. Can add, like, the thing is, is like we were like, we're not doing the cameras again. I thought it was because you guys didn't want to be on camera. No, it just was it's a hassle. It's not that. It was it just such a hassle. hassle. Because yeah. we don't currently have equipment that's comfortable to use. Mm. We we don't really have a space that's comfortable no. to set everything exactly. up in. Exactly. Um, it's just a little bit awkward behind the yeah, scenes yeah. we're not in a very big room yeah yes. and like yeah. now that we have a monitor which has uh, been a saving grace since i, I added it into the the setup mm -hmm. we kind of limit where and, and uh, sort of how we can set cameras yeah. up i'd love to have it as like for something to just like throw up clips on youtube it adds mm -hmm. something for like yeah, a visual yeah. flair 
um because we've we've obviously been talking about doing clips and stuff like that Mm -hmm. we have a couple that are probably out by now because it's like we've got the halloween clips coming Mm -hmm. up yeah yeah um and hopefully we've got another couple out there but yeah it it gives options and and like having a full video podcast that i don't have to sit and go camera one camera two camera Mm -hmm. three camera one again camera three camera two and an editing software uh because we had we done multi-cam for the first episodes of each of these the um, pilots the pilots yeah. uh and we had three cameras for anime lane and four cameras for nat yeah, yeah. there um, was uh one camera for for one like big uh dslr camera yeah we had a wide one, shot for, wide shot and like one focused on you and one focused on me and molina yeah that was for Oh no, so we had three phones for anime lane. We didn't have the DSLR involved. Ah, okay, Um, yeah. One on a wide, one on a a close-up of me, and one on a mid-shot of you two, just because it it, it meant we didn't need another camera involved. And the setup of the show was sort of like, you know... Yeah, it it worked. Yeah. Um, And then for anime lane... uh, For nap, we had had four. We had one on each of us, because we were sitting in a different setup. Mm -hmm. And then one on a wide. And and it was... uh, uh, Editing that was was hell. Doing ten minutes was bad enough but yeah. staying focused enough to sit for an hour mm-hmm. and like get the timing right of switching cameras mm. yeah was insane god no. um so adding we'd probably hire an editor <laughs> oh, we'd, we'd, oh I. we'd have an editor and we'd have like actual we'd probably do the vision mixing live like having someone yeah, yeah. you know like if i'm talking now someone would switch to me and mm-hmm. then we'd only have that on the video file yeah exactly. so it would lead to issues where like someone said something funny but the camera hadn't switched to them mm-hmm. yet mm. but it would be it'd be better better yeah. Yeah. just be more sane um i'd have to relinquish editing duties <laughs> <laughs> which would uh go kicking and screaming from me but <laughs> there'd be growing pains there just would be that. yeah it would be nice to just be able to sit down and, and you know Not people worry. behind the camera and yeah that'd be cool yeah yeah cool huh. All things we can aim for, though. Yeah. Eventually. Except like how we for talked. maybe buying the apartments. <laughs> well, yes. <dear. laughs> <laughs> that's that's the dream part of this. Yeah, that's like I, I'm I'm mainly talking about like the, for the podcast, the ideas yeah, we're yeah. throwing out are very realistic. I'd say yeah. for some point with the time. The, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Sure. Um, you know, if someone hits us up with that sponsorship money, Greg's, Greg's. <laughs> I will forever be loyal to you. I will wear your brands all day, every day. I I would not turn down a a sponsorship from Greg's. That would be we would be your greatest. Support. Oh, hundred exactly. percent. I I eat enough of your breakfasts, so you know. I I don't, but I'm willing to shell. <laughs> too much greg's and i'm not willing to admit how much <laughs> i feel like greg's is the kind of company that they would be all there for like the fact that we that i replace where i work with with greg's, with greg's they'd and give yeah. you a fake greg's uniform yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they play with us they'd be yeah they'd, they'd, they'd be us. all there for the sort of mm-hmm. weird stories i pull out and just yeah. slap greg's names next yeah. to it <laughs> Come back, back next us up. time for stories from Greg's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the Tales from Greg's shit show episode is already out. So you know. really, yeah. Well, it'll be out by the time oh, this by the one's time out. This one, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hope not to you give away when it. we're recording this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope it was. I hope, I hope it came across as funny as as it <laughs> yeah. was when we were recording it. It was hilarious. Um, I I hope nobody was eating <laughs> while well, we they were listening we to it. Shouldn't have asked a trigger warning, maybe. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Well, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know you if you, know. you know, threw up when you're listening to one of those stories in particular. Um, but yes, I, th- I think we've we've reached an end point yes. here. Yeah. yeah. So it feels like a natural end mm-hmm. point. Yeah. That was that was a fun discussion. Yeah. See, we we all have similar, like thinking. It's just the locations mm-hmm. are, yeah. are slightly different. Um, but yeah. So that that was fun. Um, now I'm just a little bit sad that I'm I'm not living comfortably. Yeah. I know, like yeah. I'm thinking this out of my head, I'm like, oh no, that could not ever happen. I was so happy to think about this the last few days, but oh. <laughs> See, yeah. I I hadn't like really thought of it that much. I'm I've been doing this off the fly. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I had some ideas on what I'd say, but like not a lot. Mm. Mm-hmm. But now I've gotten into it, and now I'm sad. <laughs> Ah, uh, I know I'll never have a Dodge Charger. That's the part I'm most sad uh. about. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for listening. And uh, come back next time when it'll be the last episode of the year for <gasps> Napcast. 
maybe actually uh depending on when it comes out we may have a new year special but then we'll i think see. that'll come out post new year yeah. maybe yeah uh but yeah you'll see yes you'll, you'll see. see thank mm -hmm. you for listening uh come back next time okay bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye.